Right, so let's unwrap this then. Well, let's see what it is. This is my video on buying a second hand camcorder from CEX. A, uh, a Sony CX190. Uh, after doing some watching some reviews online, uh, I thought I'd buy this. It comes, it's sixty-five pounds. CEX. The if you order it online, um, at that amount, it's postage is free. Although if you buy a DVD, it's one pound fifty postage. So, I don't know, let's see. It's wrapped up in. Black. Oh. Thingy paper. Uh, not paper. Black cellophane wrapper. Then we've got some bubble wrap. We've got an actual box. So let's see what we get. Oh, ooh. Right, so we've got uh, a charge wire, which is what we want. Um, yeah. So this is what I this is what I specifically ordered it for because we're going to need to continually uh, record. So I wanted one where you could continually record, and uh, I bought this. Um, yeah, the, the one thing that completely surprised me straight away is this feels well, really cheap. I mean, really cheap. This is the actual camera, right? And this is the new. This is the secondary camera. So it's got a uh, lens cover, which is mechanical, but that's quite cool because the automatic one that I've got on the actual camera is broke. Um, we've got. Uh, it takes an actual SD card by looks of things, which is good because I don't want to take it micro SD because I don't really have one. Um, you should be able to continually charge because we actually have a separate battery, which is also the reason why I bought this um, because I've changed the battery on this already um, to a bigger one. We've got a HDMI out to the TV, I think. But it never really gets used. Uh, how do we turn it on? There's no on off button. I know this one doesn't have one. So I'm presuming that this this camera's actually needs plugging in. Um, we've got the standard uh, screw, which this camera also has. Uh, the battery release is under here. Um, we've got a 5.3 megapixel still camera. Uh, the one recording is on the 8.9. Oh, the the camera recording on is the the HDR CX410, which I'll actually do a review on uh, using this camera. So because I've had this for over six years, it's been a fantastic camera. But yeah, just picking that up, it's just there's no weight in it at all. Whereas the CX410 that I've got. You can you really really heavy. Hmm. It feels like if I drop this, it's just gonna break. It's got the X more um camera thing, and we've got the little knobbly. Right, let's put it in. See what we can actually get it turned on. Right, so we plug that into there, and the main camera hasn't gone off by unplugging it. Yay, which means it's hold its charge for a change. Plug this in. 
Uh, let's see, it's there. Alright. There we go. So yeah, it had no power. Uh, let's set it up so we've got we're English. English? Yeah, we're in that. Um, what day is it? So this is preset to 2012 because this is when the camera sort of first came out. Um, so yeah, we're, we're dealing here with a model that's about seven years old. This camera looks like it's never been used. Um, we're on 2019, so let's see Right, it knows when the lens cover is closed, so there we go. We open it up. Um, right, so there's no SD card provided. It has no memory s internal storage either. So we need to put one in. Right, so. When the power thing's on, you can't close this um, like cover here where the SD card goes and the cover there. Um, right, the screen itself though is actually clearer than the actual screen on the CX because what I'm saying is the quality of the actual video produced by the, uh, the 410 is a lot better in actual on the actual computer screen than it is produced on the actual screen. Uh, uh, screen itself, but that could be because that's a touch screen and this isn't. Um, at least with this, we've got the knobbly controls, so um, this should last a lot longer than supposedly the touch screen. But the actual layout of the menu is no different to my CX, just that you have to use this knobbly thing. Right, one thing we're going to go into is camera slash mic. Um, so we've got white balance. They're all on automatic. So we're going to leave them on um, and see how we get on with them on. Um, we're going to go to image quality and size. Now this is one thing you need to go into um, because I didn't realise for four years on my own camera that um, the CX410 if when you go into recording mode, when you select standard HQ, it actually only records in something like, I don't know, about 576 or something like that. High quality is like 720p and highest quality is 1080i on this or 1080p on the um, CX410. So I didn't realise I'd never been actually, for four years, I didn't record in highest quality. Um, but we're going to select high quality on this because of what we're doing and highest quality on the actual CX. Um, the other thing is you need to go into HD setting and select HD setting on. Uh, the standard setting will just record, um, I think in 4x3, but I don't know because I've never really used it. And then your image size just basically selects how... Uh, how good the quality pictures you take. It's a camcorder. Um, right, I don't know about this. So hang on, so what we're gonna do now, it's just a quick recording. So you 
The record button's at the back. It's no different, actually. Um, and then we've got our photo button there. Now, I wonder if we can take photos while recording. Yep, you can take photos while recording. And we can zoom it in and out. You can zoom in and out, see? That's pretty nice. Um, for cheap camera, this isn't bad actually. It's still got everything like my big camera's got. That's pretty cool. Um, the only thing it doesn't have is a gyroscope um, a camera lens to keep it stable. Um, but that's it. For cheap camera, it's pretty good. I'm actually quite impressed actually. Um, that's come from CEX and everything works and everything's clean. Everything's really clean on it. Um, the one thing this does have, and it's down here and it's on all of them, on all these Sony ones, is a USB and you can plug it into your computer. You can supposedly transfer files, but you can also charge off it as well. But I prefer actually just plugging this in. Um, I've just noticed just by moving the camera, it does seem to go out of focus temporarily. Uh, so it's probably a little bit worse, it's a bit worse than this CX. The CX 410 that I've got recording on this, you can move it around all day and it's perfectly stable. It doesn't seem to go out of focus, so. But I'm impressed with it. It's alright for a secondary camera. Can't wait to do uh, dual recording. So that's what I'm going to try out now. Alright. Alright guys, so you'll go you're gonna see this in the future. Heads up. We've got dual recording. Coming up. And if you've been watching this video, um for the camera, yeah, it's I actually recommend the camera if you want a, a good a, a really good camera with uh really good sound. That's the one thing with Sony cameras, it doesn't matter whether you buy the cheap one or the very expensive one, the sound quality is excellent in my opinion um, and always has been and it doesn't really change from cheap to expensive so um, and the image will be the same it's just that the image stabilization look if I shake it it seems to go a little bit out of focus um, but other than that it's not a bad camera but it is really really cheap feel and it's really no waiting at all. Alright. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Um, and then we've got our photo button there. Now, I wonder if we can take photos while recording. Yep, we can take photos while recording. And we can zoom it in and out. Zoom in and out, see? That's pretty nice. Um, for cheap camera, this isn't bad actually. It's still got everything like my big camera's got. That's pretty cool. Um, the only thing it doesn't have is a gyroscope um, a camera lens to keep it stable. Um, but that's it. For cheap camera, it's pretty good. But I prefer actually just plugging this in. Um, I've just noticed just by moving the camera, it does seem to go out of focus temporarily. Uh, so it's probably a little bit worse. It's a bit worse than this CX. The CX 410 that I've got recording on this, you can move it around all day and it's perfectly stable. It doesn't seem to go out of focus. So. But I'm impressed with it. It's alright for a secondary camera. Can't wait to do uh, dual recording. That's what I'm gonna try out now. All right, all right, guys. So you'll go. You're gonna see this in the future.